Yo, what's happening, man? It's your boy Papa Duck, man. Listen, man. Are y'all paying attention to what's going on, man, with our kids, man? What these folk doing, man? Man, I seen a bit at a parade, man. We talking about the, you feel me? They pushing that shit on our kids, dog. At a parade, I seen a dude, man. I know y'all seen these videos, bro. At a parade, man, with his drawers on, bro. Kids here with a dog twerking, dog. Man, I seen a video, man. Bill was in the school hall, like a dressed like an exotic dancer, dog. Dancing in front of these kids in the school hall, dog. But get what? Ain't now be saying nothing. The church ain't saying nothing. The politicians, the, the city commissioners, NAACP ain't now be saying nothing because it's their part of their agenda. I tell y'all, when you go to the motherfucking woods, or you go to the Amazon, you ain't worried about the children gorillas, the mama gorillas. You worry about the daddy gorilla, the alpha. They got to get rid of the alpha. Once they get rid of the alpha male, the family can become uncompromised. How you think they doing that? This is a plan. I told y'all, go read the 10-point plan from Alice Ann Bailey. Her name is Alice Ann Bailey. Go look it up. The 10-point plan. I did a video on it. And one of those, and I couldn't even talk about all the different plans. I just talked about um, one of them was take away the parental uh, authority from parents so that the children can be, got more authority than the damn, um, than the, than the, than the grown up, which don't make no sense to grown-ass people. How you going to give children more authority over the, why well, I say common sense ain't so common. Ain't nobody saying that. I don't give a damn what the government say. If I'm taking care of my children, my child, bitch don't come up in here talking about what I can and can't do. I promise you, I'm going to slap the sh See, when you slap somebody, that's an insult. It's disrespectful. You can punch them. You can knock them out. But when you slap a bitch, that's some disrespectful shit. When I bring your ass over here talking about what I can and can't do with mine, you're going to lose your damn mind. But enough of us don't stand up on this. Bro, y'all don't see that, bro. Y'all don't see what's going on. And again, I keep telling you, when you don't own nothing, you don't control nothing. These motherfuckers own all the publications, all these boule ass uh, 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 fake rappers, entertainers, actors. They have all the influence. They have all the sports. We got to start owning something. I told y'all, when Kanye West stood up, that boy stood up with big balls and told you he ain't even from the streets. All these so-called street niggas talking about they from the streets and they this, they that. Man, Kanye West stood up to them folk by himself. And all the motherfuckers sat, and sat, sat here and let that man got in the rain by himself and saw him get beat down. You ain't see Michael Joyce step up. You ain't see LeBron James step up. You ain't seen none of these dudes step up, man. Because they're afraid. But all them motherfuckers, all us going against, when I say all us, I mean white, black, blue, green, Puerto Rican. Spanish, all you, all of us going against these same people. They together, we ain't. Oh, I say when you on the lowest level, every day we're, we're a working person, and you have animosity against another person, something wrong with you. Something, something is wrong with you because that's not your enemy. Walking outside, not speaking to your neighbor, that's some flaw ass shit though. That's not your enemy. <laughs> you feel me? All them people are, are together. We not. I keep saying this because I want people to understand the, the real problem. The world you living in is the world they gave you. You wake up every day because they say get up. You got an alarm clock because they say this is what you need to get up to come work for me. TVs. Everything that we have, they told us that we need to buy. Who the fuck told us we need to sit on furniture? And when we see people that ain't got no furniture, they sitting on the floor, we want to pick. But you really picking from a place of being victimized, man. Them people told you all this shit. See, I told y'all when I did the video yesterday. They withhold information and knowledge and play God in the process. And they use it against you because you don't know no better. If we took 100 people, put them in an the area, and we told them everything they know. We raised them. We told them, no, don't, don't eat that. Even though we know it's going to make them healthy. Now, eat this. No, don't do that. Even though doing that going to make them a better person. Now do this. And we create laws and boundaries in the process. This is how you control people. But it's a shame, bro, what they doing to these kids, dog. I told y'all, bro. 
if 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 you came around my grandma back in the days with all that wrecked up, popping your neck and doing all that, man, my grandma shoot this shit out you. This on this on cheese and crackers here. Believe that. This on Jesus sandals. Boy, my grandma will shoot the shit out you. See them old folk, they ain't they came from a different cloth. They ain't cut like these new folk, but these new folk have been massaged into this way of accepting these things. Because a lot of times you may see women, they accept certain stuff that you like, damn, y'all cool with a dude hanging around y'all trying to be like y'all, woo, 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 which is cool. But you can't go public like that with these kids. We talking undeveloped mind. It's a way bigger agenda than what a lot of us think. Don't think these people really care about your sexuality like that. They don't, bro. It's called depopulation. You know? I'm not against nobody and what they do, but I am against you pushing that shit on our children, bro. I'm I'm all against that. I'm talking about on all. I'm all against that. You feel me? We're talking about undeveloped minds, bro. Don't know no better, bro. Imagine when you were five, seven, ten. You know what I'm saying? You see stuff, you walk in the store, you see this, and you be like, damn, I don't I, I ain't know that these two then they that's why they turn me they playing house and they playing on uh, what they call it, house. And he love, and they be doing little shit. And he be, where they get this shit from? The worst thing we had back in the day was uh, HBO, motherfucker. We talking about soft porn. You might see a big get a little titty something, something. Fast forward today, y'all better monitor your churn phone. Better monitor your phone. Don't give a day if you pay the phone bill, they better. I don't get, like I say, don't come up in here telling me what to do with mine. And I'm paying for my. I'm paying for the phone bill. I'm paying to keep a roof over their head and all this. You gonna get me? You better get. You better go. On. I'm. I'm slap you. Don't come tell me about mine. And back in the day, they used to have these people called. Um, they like the census people, where they used to come knock on your door and get all your information. Who living in the house? Who? Then what these motherfuckers did, bro? Why we live on a fucking planet, dog? Screw my lane. Well, we let other people tell us what to do. Like we came here to be slaves, white people. A lot of white people understand that now. See all that back in the day. They understand, man. We all under the same construct. Now, you may have a fool feel like they're a little privileged, but that's ignorance. Because you go to the same grocery store, getting the same poison ass food. You're paying the same, doing the same thing. We are all victimized. We're all under the same dictatorship. So if you want to believe or make or, or try to make it seem as if you don't know, that just says a lot about you. And that go for any fucking body. Okay, what color you is? We must stop this, bro. We must come together. We must form something, bro. We have to. We got to, bro. Because I'm telling you, bro, if we don't, bro, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's over with, man. And again, man, I don't care what you do, man. I don't give a damn what you do as far as your personal. But like I say, when you put, when they bringing it into the schools and pushing that on our children and doing our hell, yeah, I got a problem with that. Cause they don't know them kids don't know no better. They can't defend for themselves. You think you finna come? You think you finna who? I told you, I'ma slap you. Don't come playing with me about me and mine. I promise you on everything I love. I'm, I'm I don't you know I ain't like how I. Like, I, I know a lot now. I'm, I'm different. I can handle me. You know, I'm a little more, you know, and it's cool. I don't care if you step on my shoes, man. I don't care if you want to. You can tell all you want to say out your mouth. Just don't put your hands on me. I'm cool. I'm I'm past that. But if you come fuck with my kids, my kids, I promise you, dog. I promise you. I promise you. This shit ain't going to be, it ain't going to be um, pretty. Far from it. A bitch, I'm going to snap like a number two. It's, it's fit about my children. Bitch, I, I'm ready to go shoot dice with Tupac, motherfucker. About my kids. I'm ready, bro. Whatever. I'm, I'm talking about win, lose, or draw, whatever. About mine. Pfft, I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to take it, though. Like I say, when a nigga in Florida say let run it, bitch, don't, that don't mean go to your car. It mean you better be ready. Right then and there, bitch, at your mammy house, the church house. I don't care where you want to be or where you trying to. You better be ready, homie. About my about my kids. I promise you, dog. About my kids. I mean that. And that's what these folk doing, man. So I just hope we get an understanding of what's going on. And 
We don't have to put our kids in these schools, man. Fuck these schools. We don't have to. We need to get out. We, we could come. To, that's why I say we all could come together. Damn what they got going on. We don't have to live the way they say live, bro. We all could come together, put our money together, build us a school, put the people that we want in front of our. We talking about these are our children. The children that we love. We send them off every day to go be with strangers. We don't even know these damn people, man. We need to build our own schools, put our own curriculums together. You feel me? We we old enough. We know what work and don't work. Like we don't have to send our children through that same old bullshit we went through, bro. We know what work and don't work. Teach them about credit. Teach them about money. Teach them about relationships. We teach them the things we know work. Cause all they're gonna do is switch it. Then you know what we gotta do? Switch it again on their ass. Oh y'all wanna have the CBDC and all this? We can create our own money. We don't. That's why I say, bro. This is what brainwashing does, bro. And God gave us everything we need, dog, to do everything we need to do, man. Get up off your knees, homie. You got everything you need, homie. Everything. And more. We don't let these people trick us, man. We don't need their schools. We don't need their colleges. We don't need nothing from them. Because all they're going to do is lie. It's all a lie. Stolen knowledge. These motherfuckers withhold information and give you the, the bullshit. But yet, they use all this against you. This, bro, come on. They're not going to step down off the throne and just hand you over the power. We have to overthrow the shit. Coup d'etat. Real nigga shit. But like I say, man, if we don't do nothing, man, it's going to get uglier and uglier. But like I say, you know, the only reason why things ain't going the way it's supposed to go because the people that run the world that's steering this boat are doing everything based off their agendas, bro. I, I done done so many videos. There's so much information out there, bro. Where this is the most um, individualistic country in the world, meaning they, they groom you to be on your own, not as a collective. They tear your family apart. They throw child support in the agenda. They throw all these programs in the agenda. As long as the man ain't in the house, you can get all these different amenities and programs, and which makes the you know in this world, which make a lot of women not all, but a lot of women be more masculine than men, and pretty much say they don't need a man because they don't. And then the government takes the place of the man, so therefore the man doesn't have a place in the family, and he's nothing. I told y'all, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna let y'all go. Women, black women especially. Men need y'all help. As a black man, we are at the bottom of the total pole. And before anybody talks shit, you're only going to feel this when it happens to your son. When your son get with a female and she put him on child support, knowing he doing all he's supposed to do. When your son get with a female and she kick him out because she don't need him, this is when they're going to start to register. But it's too late. The process has already took place for him. Now he's finna go through the same thing and ain't nothing you can do about it. Not for all, but for most. You know, I love y'all, man. It's your boy Papa Duck, man. Um, and like I tell you, man, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll let y'all in this video. Make sure y'all share this video, please. That's all I ask that y'all do, man. If y'all made it to the end of this video, thank y'all so much. Love.